Good afternoon, junior high and high school students. Um, I just wanted to hop on and congratulate you for finishing your first morning of online classes with our teachers here at Midcota. From what I've heard, it went really well. Um, thank you for all your work and getting used to Teams and for um, navigating that so well. So uh, I found a quote that I just wanted to share with you guys this morning and then talk to you a little bit about some other things. So I'm going to try and turn this thing around. Okay, nope. I'm going to go stand by the quote because I can't do that. So um, the quote is, life is like a camera. Focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. If things don't work out, take another shot. I think that right now, all of these things are really important for us to focus on. Um, focus on what's important, which is right now a lot of us need to focus on our mental health and self-care and uh, getting used to new things, which can be, can be stressful even if it's um, going really well. Capture the good times. Um, you have the opportunity right now to be with your families and these are days that you can make some really awesome memories with your parents and your siblings um, that you can step up um, to hard things um, in, your, in your homes. Um, develop from the negatives. We are uh, bound to run into some obstacles along the way. And so let's take those obstacles and um, react to them with how we can grow through it, um, how we can have a growth mindset about those, about those things. If things don't work out, take another shot. Um, if things aren't going the way that we want them to, let's make those changes that we need to make and um, get into a routine. Um, think about how to make things better and make it happen. So, okay. So some other things that I thought about this morning um, as I was thinking about you guys, uh, we started on talking about sources of strength, the different areas of the circle before we left and we only got two in. We got um, positive friends in and mentors. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about how this crazy life that we're living right now, how that kind of changes how all of those pieces of the pie look. Um, we usually are in school and we usually have this routine and now it seems like um, things are, everything just looks different. So anyway, um, the first piece of the pie is family support. Um, right now, obviously, that is a huge, huge piece of your lives because you're with your family all the time. Um, if you need support from your family, I encourage you to voice that, to tell them this is really what I need from you in order to um, help me learn better from home, in order for me to function um, well in this situation. Um, the next one was positive friends and we've been over that. We've talked about what positive friendship looks like and uh, Right now, you guys are able to FaceTime, you're able to talk over chat and text and Snapchat and whatever. And so I think that those things are really important right now. Um, remember to be a positive friend um, and to look for those positive friends. You can still um, do those do those little things like we talked about if somebody is being negative to you kind of changing the conversation um, to something positive or just being like oh mom and dad need me I've got to go use your parents as an excuse okay um, use us as, as an excuse if you get into a conversation that you know is not uplifting um, feel free to use the adults in your life to get out of those situations um, mentors thank you guys for all of your awesome things. We hung them up in the hallway. You probably got to see them for two days before we left and that's unfortunate. And I've got like a zillion candy bars at home for people who were gonna take their pictures with their mentors. And so uh, 
yeah, I hope that they're still alive by the time we get out of this little quarantine business because they're tempting me every day. So anyway, um, I am going to try and figure out something to do with those. But anyway, uh, awesome, awesome um, write-ups that you guys did that we hung in the hallways. Keep in contact with your mentors through this time. We're with our families a lot. And if your mentor is in your family, that's awesome. If your mentor is outside the family or a teacher or whatever, please keep in contact with them um, through this time because we want to support you and your mentors want to support you during this time too. Um, healthy activities. Uh, we are spending a lot of time on screens during this time. And so healthy activities would include going outside, um, running, uh, helping on the farm, whatever. Um, it's really important right now to get fresh air because we can get in front of our computer screens and we can get stuck there. And so make sure that you are um, getting some good physical activity every day, just even for the sunshine. Sunshine makes such a difference in your day. Uh, generosity, right now um, we are in a position where we are separated from people, okay? Um, but you are with your families you are, you can still be an encouragement to other people. Um, be generous with your heart right now. Um, that can be your, that can be your little mission. Um, spirituality, there are a lot of things online. Um, I know we have been attending our church virtually, um, but whatever uh, spiritual um, belief that you have, um, make sure that you're keeping up on that because this is a time where we are able to kind of sit back from everything that has been um, been distracting us along the way to sit back and think about those things. So this is a really important time for you to do a lot of um, reflection and a lot of um, learning in the area that that you um, that you feel like you need um, strength from um, and that you get your strength from. So um, medical access obviously is a huge thing right now. Um, we do have access to medical things, but we're all maybe a little bit scared to go in because of all of this um, virus that's been going around. So anyway, um, but you do have medical access. There's a lot of doctors doing telehealth, um, telemed. Um, and so anyway, a lot of times you can even just FaceTime with your doctor and um, that is a really beneficial thing too. So if you are having um, any medical issues, please look into that. Um, you don't want to let anything else um, develop in you because you are too afraid to go to the clinic. Um, so please be sure and look into that if you need it. Um, also, mental health is huge right now. This is the time when depression can set in. This is the time when anxiety can rear its head. And um, please make sure that you're talking to someone. Please make sure that you're talking to a parent or talking to me or talking to Mrs. Brandt. Um, it's, or if you have another therapist, please make sure right now um, a lot of us are taken out of our elements. And um, it a lot of times gets too comfortable to be at home. Um, a lot of times we start sleeping more. A lot of times we um, are can't settle our minds down um, at nighttime because of all that's going on. And so if you need support in that, um, I really encourage you to please, to please email uh, Mrs. Brandt or I. Um, we did send home those consents to meet with you via Zoom. And so if you and your parents have not filled that out, please get that in. If you would like to meet with us, um, we also can just talk over the phone and that's totally fine too. It's just really beneficial for us to be able to talk face to face and to see body language and all of those things. And so um, I encourage you to, um, to please do that if you've not done it already. Um, yes, if there's anything that you need, um, any technical difficulties, any uh, questions on homework, any anything, please contact your teachers. They're, it's been so fun. Um, we've been meeting, actually, uh, we're meeting every morning this week and it's so um, fun to see how, how much they are preparing for you and um, 
are looking forward to this too. So anyway, uh, let me know if you need anything. I hope you have a wonderful day. Get out in the sunshine. Okay, bye-bye.